Show. I'm your host, Jerry Petty, and this is not our usual setup because this is not a usual episode. Uh, yeah, we're going to do something a little different this week, something I've wanted to do for a while. I think what prompted it was a couple of weeks ago when I sent out a call for one of our Patreon exclusive episodes for some questions. And in that batch, I got a question that I've actually gotten several times from several different people. And I think it's finally time to begin answering uh, that question, which is just what's up with the future of Pockets? What's coming for Pockets Full of Soup? You know, we have been doing this now for eight months together. It's kind of extraordinary. And I'd like to every now and then have one of these little heart-to-hearts with you and the community, the audience, the, the folks that make this show possible uh, and make it worth doing. So first, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's happened so far, and then I'm going to talk about what's coming next and why we're making some of the changes that we're making. First, what's happened so far? Well, holy cow, we're in the mid-30s of episodes now, which I honestly am shocked to find myself here. When I came up with the idea for this you know, silly little interview show, I had no idea that it would go this long or work out this well. So I think some of the interviews have proven to give stories that are, are absolutely worth hearing. I know some of them have touched me, and based on the mail that you sent to the Pockets Mailbox, it's touched some of you as well. Uh, in addition to what we've done on the regular show, we've also had opportunities to do some really fun things. We launched a pretty good day, which I really like. Uh, I love hearing the, the different Split, the different spin on positivity, storytelling, and human experience that comes from talking about a day that you're so grateful happened. And, and I think that we're getting some wonderful stories out of people in that. We've also had all the fun stuff on Patreon, Patreon exclusive episodes every month, and we started doing single serving, which are kind of these little, if you're not familiar with these little laser focused episodes, I really like. And on top of those two, we have Laser Dracula, which is a lot of fun to write. And thank you so much for listening to my silly vampire story. Uh, all those together there, and then uh, what we do in the Hangouts and running into community people. We just done our first interview with a uh, one of our uh, Patreon backers, uh, which will be going up very soon. Uh, that was really cool. He was here in San Francisco. We sat down and did an interview together. Felt fortunate to have that chance. So already counting all that stuff together, we produced a lot of neat stories and told a lot of neat stories, and I, I just remarkably privileged. I hope you guys know that I know how fortunate I am. And I'm not going to say lucky even, but fortunate that you have chosen to make this happen. Every time you listen to the show, every time you watch, every subscription, every comment you leave, every letter you send, every time you choose to back us uh, financially, you are sending me a signal that this is something that's worth doing and and maybe uh, actually having a tiny bit of that positive effect that I want to have in the world. Positivity is an extraordinarily difficult thing for me to talk about in a concrete and comprehensive way. The reason I do this through telling stories, especially most of the time other people's stories, is because I feel like metaphor almost works better for positivity, hope, and optimism than any direct spiel does. Uh, You know, it's really hard to encompass what makes those worthwhile principles unless you tell them as a story that sort of makes the point as it's going along. And I think that's what makes the show work. I never want to lose touch with that. And uh, I think that you guys are going to keep me honest in that regard. I never want to stop looking people in the eye and saying, tell me about somebody you're thankful for. Because I think there's merit in that. That said, we are also moving beyond that. We're going to keep doing it. Don't worry about that. That's, That's never going away from the show. But we're also going to begin to do more things because I think that Pockets Full of Soup, well, let me use a metaphor of my own to tell this one. I told you that uh, Pockets was originally kind of inspired by Bob Ross, Uh, his extraordinary hopefulness and the way that he educated and conveyed a powerful attitude, taught people the skills in creating beauty and expressed that there was something wonderful to be found in every aspect of everyday life just moved me as a child and as as an adult. And it it continues to be something that's very much a part of who I am. One of the things I love about Bob Ross is every episode starts the same. He's there in his studio. There's that black background. He's got a goofy haircut. And there's a blank canvas that's, that's just been treated with a little wet paint. And then from there, a different scene and a different story comes together every time. 
there's some similarities between most of them. There's a lot of mountain ranges, a lot of lakes, a lot of trees, a lot of outdoor scenes, but there's so many things that change between them. Different seasons, different mountains, different landscapes, different focuses, different directions, different shading, different shadows, different lessons. And as much as I enjoy what we do on Pockets, I do think that we would be better served by a more topical variety. And so that's where the show is going to go next. So while we will continue to ask people about the people that move them, the people they're thankful for, the people who change them, the people who inspired them, we're also going to take some cues from some of the experiments I've been doing over the last few months. And you may notice some of these. Pretty Good Day is one of those experiments. Uh, another one is the episode we did with Brian O'Tonnell about New York City, which just had that subtle shift where he talked about a place he's thankful for. I continue to want to focus these stories on, on the interesting people in the interviews that we're talking with, but we're also going to become more topical. And what I mean by that is we're not just going to talk about people we're thankful for. We're going to talk about places and things that moved us. We're going to tell stories of other experiences. We're going to talk about things that we love and things that we love to do and things that have it, it inspired and transformed us as human beings. That's going to be a part of the new focus of Pockets Full of Soup, uh, a, a new way of telling the same focus. Again, it's the same message, the same kind of painting. We're just going to increase the variety. I don't want things to get stale. I want to speak to more people. And the fact is, it would be very helpful for us to continue growing. Uh, and this is one way that I think we can do that. When I use the word growing, that means a lot of things. Yes, that means an audience, because that's always helpful for a show and I think it also is good to get the word out because I think what we're doing is worth more people seeing and hearing. I also want to say growing on my end it never hurts to have that financial backing grow and frankly over the last few months it hasn't been growing as, as much as would be helpful to continue to sustain and grow the show in other ways. But third when I use the term growing I'm talking about the transformative internal growing that goes on within us where we keep stretching and trying things that aren't familiar, trying to move into new territories. I never want this thing to become rote or saccharine, either one. By rote, I mean formulaic, something that's just always the same and kind of gets eh, a little too safe. And saccharine, because I never want the hope or optimism to be ungrounded or to just be like, well, everything's going to be okay. To tell you the truth, the last few weeks of my life have kind of sucked. Lots of bad stuff has happened. That doesn't make me special. I'm very fortunate. I'm very fortunate to be here right now able to talk with you and, and tell this story and to have your, your backing and your help. So I mean, please understand it's not a, a complaint or that I feel trodden upon. A lot of you have had a really crappy few weeks too. But yeah, some bad stuff's happened in my life. I'm not going to go into all the details right now. But uh, you get bad news. It's a part of being a human being. Bad things happen. They happen in your family. They happen to people you love. You get news that you wish it turned out different. You find out things about health that you wish were different. And some of that's become a part of my life again in the last few weeks. Pockets full of soup is not a denial of that. The idea is that it's an embrasure of that reality and a reminder that terrible things are one part of our lives, but they are not the sum of it. And they don't mean the end of everything. And that's what we're trying to build here. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's talk about that. First, more topical focus for the episodes, which means we're only going to see some guests come back and talk about different things, which I think is good anyway, because there's some guests that I really want to have back. You're going to continue to see new guests. Because, oh, I'm so excited. Again, I don't want to tantalize. I'm not going to sit here and, but there's some People that personally for me are very exciting. I'm hoping to get to talk to you soon. It makes me happy. Old favorites coming back to visit people that, that the audience uh, is familiar with. You guys that have come from other communities like like Comedy Button or uh, or, or Kind of Funny or, or other groups. Like You're going to see people you recognize. It's going to be good and fun talking about new things. Second, I'm going to take a pretty good day, which has always remained on the same iTunes channel. I'm going to move it into the regular rotation with Pockets. So some weeks, a pretty good day is going to be in that Pockets main uh, Sunday, Monday slot. Um, you're still going to get them early on Patreon. I'm not changing anything about that structure, uh, at least not at this point or anything like that. So all your rewards remain the same. But I am going to move that in there because I like having that that change up. I, I, think, I really do think there's a lot to pretty good day that, that's going to get more and more fun as we go along. 
And uh, so you'll see that in the rotation occasionally. But we're also going to move out and talk about the things that we love passionately. So that's what's happening in that first part of the feature. But what else? Well, one, I still owe you guys from Patreon uh, a road trip episode and a live episode. We've already done the uh, uh, Thanksgiving special. We did a Valentine's special. The road trip episode, I hope, fingers crossed, is going to tie in to a, uh, an interview I've really wanted to do. And I hopefully I can combine taking that road trip for one episode with the interview at the end. If that doesn't work out, I've actually got another pretty fun idea. And if I go to the second idea, I may wait all the way for Christmas. We'll see. Uh, that may be a year-end thing. But I'm hoping to get it done sooner than later, and I'll fill you in on that. The live episode I am intrigued and terrified by. As you are probably gathering from this one guy to the mic thing, I'm not exactly a master of one dude on screen storytelling and doing something live where I can't stop it and look like, ah! I mean, I've done it a lot professionally in other capacities, but still it always makes me a little nervous, even though it's kind of fun. I got an idea around that that I think I want to peg for somewhere around the end of the summer. Um, don't quote me on that, but um, I'm thinking about tying that into another effort. Because you see, pockets full of soup, people could ask me, what's the future? Well, yeah, this is a show where we talk, and talking is helpful. I believe in the power of words. I love books, I love speeches, I love conversation, I love poems, I love songs, I love the power of words to change lives. I'm, words have changed my life, and they can change yours because they can change hearts and actions. But there's more to life than words. That's another thing I'm really excited about. I'd like to bring the community together, this exists here in Pockets, and begin to move outside of storytelling in a concrete way. I've said in vague ways before some thoughts, oh, I'd like to do this. So here's how I'd like to do it the first time. And I want your feedback on this, by the way. And if you have feedback, mail at pocketsfullofsoup.com or the comments on this thread or anywhere. I, I really want to know. What do you guys think, guys and gals, think of having a day set a few months ahead of time where everybody in the pockets community me angie all of y'all decide to spend a day helping people and sharing the stories of helping people we spend a day where we go out each of us thoughtfully ahead of time chooses somebody in our lives or some organization in our area or something like that to help out at, to volunteer at. This could be as simple as spending a day with your dad that you haven't seen in a while, to going down to a soup kitchen, to cooking, to there are literally a million ways this can work. And, and it's up to you, whatever you think works best for you. But we have a day where we bring all of that together and then we share the stories that came out of that together through this. What do you think? I'd like to know your thoughts on that matter and uh, I'd like your input on it. So, again, mail at pocketsfullofsoup.com or the comments here. I'll be watching. Speaking of comments, um, we have this Facebook group. Now, Facebook groups, I realize a lot of us here are, are enrolled in a lot of those. And they, I kind of like Facebook groups. They're, they're like, they, they got that old message board quality to them. Pockets has one, and I must confess that I have not been as active as I should be. And I check in quite a bit, but I fall back into old habits and I more lurk. So I've been on more recently, and I'm going to stay there because I want to build that community. It doesn't cost a thing to be a part of this, and most of you have Facebook accounts. So Pockets Full of Soup Facebook group, just join, please. We get on there, we talk about goofy stuff. I had people name my Venus flytrap last week. Um, I'm going to be on there more, making kind of little exclusive videos just for that place to, to talk to, with y'all. And I'd like to know what's going on in your lives. And I'd like to pop in and just hop into conversations. It's a positive area. We're allowed to be very real there. I, I prefer there not be any any uh, bullying, of course, or, or abusiveness. Uh, I want to keep things in a realm of grounded positivity, polite disagreement. Passion and politeness can, can coexist. You can be very passionate about what you think without being cruel. And if we can do that there, I'd really like that. I want to build a place where people can... can speak openly and honestly uh, without speaking um, with uh, with viciousness. And I think that's quite possible. That can exist on the web. I've seen it from you guys. It can totally happen. It is happening. It does exist. We're going to show people how that takes place. So yeah, so that's some of the stuff I'm looking for. Also, as we move toward the shift in the year, I'm starting to think about Pockets Full of Soup Season 2. And what that might look like and structurally how the shows might map out again it's it's a small operation uh so 
you know that's uh that's one thing that limits us to a point when, when you're, it's not, not a lot of um not a lot of the, the human resources or but uh there's still some stuff i really want to do and i could use you guys as help with things so like our motion graphics and music for the shows created by you guys you made that happen so if you guys want to send ideas in to mail at pocketsfullsuit.com if you don't mind us using them if you send things over understand that we might use them and and that we're not really at this point uh commissioning any material this is volunteer stuff but uh yeah probably looking at um creating new musical themes around pretty good day may change the pockets uh theme or remix it i'm going to talk to robbie who uh, who wrote that about that and some other people about those i really like the the quality of the mograph package but i think i might want to change the uh, the logo now because i'd like to change our our livery there if you're interested in serving maybe as a, a website moderator or helping out with that, I'd be very interested in hearing about it. Again, mail at pocketsfullsuit.com. Some of you have contacted me in the past and it wasn't quite the time. We're moving into the time now. So please do not hesitate to write back and be like, hey, uh, by the way, you mentioned that. So I, I'm interested. I can't use every idea. I can't use every piece of music. Please don't be hurt if I can't use your help at the moment. Uh, at least in the regard that, that you're volunteering, but I do care. I'd also like to, I'd love to see us put a database together of um, of guests, uh, a way that we keep track of who everybody talked about, what they answered on uh, Instant Noodles, things like that. And Instant Noodles. Okay, guys, so those were fun, and we're not leaving all the questions behind. I get constant submissions for new Instant Noodle questions. Whether you sent them or not, I want them again. Just Instant Noodle, because we are going to change this up for the second season. When will the second season begin? I'm thinking around episode 50. Uh, I think that might be our, our kickoff for that. Uh, my friend Greg Miller is going to interview me on that episode. Uh, that'll be um, uh, that'll be the episode that he'll be hosting, uh, and that'll be where I come as a guest. And so excited about it and a little frightened because uh, I'm shy. Yeah, so that's uh, that's another thing that's that's happening. And when that comes, we'll switch some other stuff up. Um, wow, that's, I've talked a lot already. I really want your feedback on all these ideas uh, and these thoughts. I, I want your input on that, what works and what doesn't. Again, not everybody's going to agree on the right idea, but I do promise I'm listening. And uh, so mail at pocketsfullsuit.com, really good way to reach me. Um, I check through those, a lot pops in there, but I, I will eventually uh, get to you. And right now I'm keeping it especially active eye i am excited there's a lot of episodes filming this week uh, i'm going out to gosh i'm filming a lot this week um and some stuff to get there and then we've got several in the can that i've got to get out to you i i actually got a backlogging here excited about some of the topics what topics you want to hear about let me know just pitch topics things you want us to hear talk about uh some of you have before again not too late all right so again talking head looking into a camera excitedly I, I can't imagine how long this can hold anybody's interest uh so i appreciate your politeness and hanging around as long as you have for this kind of special episode uh, talking about patreon for a second uh just to be frank with you um your support matters more now than it ever has and uh, many of you give generously and i appreciate everything you're doing i want you to know you're appreciated if you are not banking us on patreon right now and you're able i realize everybody in the you know like podcast cinematic universe asks for money um and there's a reason it, it's very helpful but uh, if you can find uh, the cash to back us i think our rewards are really good but beyond that i think pockets is a show that's worth going on doing something really unique that isn't happening a lot uh, in, in outside areas, this kind of focus on bringing people together is, is something I think is worth uh, funding or I wouldn't do it. And if you have the opportunity, man, I, I, I could really use your help. So throwing that out there. And for those of you who already do, thank you so much. And those of you that don't but have or wish they could but can't, thanks. thank you for caring. Thank you. So, uh, all right. I think that this will be one of the shorter episodes of Pockets Full of Soup, uh, thanks to this uh, uh, kind of odd nature to it. We'll be back next week with an episode I'm pretty excited to show you. And uh, in the meantime, thank you. Um, stay thankful for one another whenever possible. And uh, I will uh, see you next time.